Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it took me a while to make another video. So before I get into the topic for today, I just need to express a little bit of what's going on. And uh, basically, um, anxiety, basically anxiety. Um, I've been wanting to make a video for like two, three weeks now. However, I'm not able to get myself to actually set all of this up like this backdrop these lights the software i need to record and all that and the courage to actually get in front of the camera and talk shit because um well for for those who don't know i'm a depressive it's uh and uh for the last few weeks i've been down in the dumps so every time there's a gap it's me being depressed and uh a lot of people like to talk shit about depression. I don't care about that. All that matters is uh, me having to fight it. The way I, my life is right now with the way my mind is right now and always has been. The good thing is I, I, at least I'm still fighting it. Like I'm doing whatever I can. Like taking vitamin D, going out for walks, uh, getting some exercise. Well, I need to ramp up the exercise because, you know, it's not even about that. It's just the way this this works even when everything is going all right absolutely all right like my life hasn't been affected that badly by the pandemic and the resulting lockdowns and quarantines well this this is this is what's always uh what i have to fight with there's always a war in here hey i'm still doing all right so uh, for everyone else out there who's uh, been having their own struggles. I know how it feels. I know how it is. Anyway, let's move on to uh, the topic for the day. So I want to start off again with a topic that I really like making videos about. Well, martial arts and, you know, just people beating the shit out of each other. In this case, uh, it's there's this um, Japanese promotion it's kind of weird it is kind of like a throwback it's called ganryu jima it's kind of wacky it's very theatrical it's style versus style in this late high circle thing like in in china it would be a late high circle i don't know what they call it in japan i guess uh dohyo that's the closest you can get to it it's very interesting because they have ring out rules now, ring out rules makes the dynamic very different. That means if you can just push your opponent out of the ring, like in Soul Calibur, you get a point. Cool. So you can effectively win fights just by pushing your opponent out of the ring multiple times. But the danger of that is you can also get, you can also be defeated by knockout or submission. If one of those things happen, well, you lose. Let's look into uh, Ganryu Jima. Uh, unfortunately, uh, digging these up, <laughs> it's just a bunch of random people uploading fights or events of the, this promotion. And as you can see, look at that. Look at that. It's a. It's not just a ring. It's a set piece. And we. We have here a sumo guy, sumo wrestler, versus someone who is well-versed, apparently, in Indian martial arts. Interesting. So, uh, it's uh, Taishi Nakajima versus Real King Date. Cool name. As you can see, sumo guy with his chin up high, but uh, with his stance down low. He's looking to catch, he's looking to grapple. Meanwhile, uh, Indian uh, martial arts guy. I don't know if that's Indian, but... Well, Indians are well known for their uh, wrestling regimen. Hell, it, their exercises have been adopted by a lot of uh, great wrestlers, like uh, Karl Gotch, who is regarded as the god of wrestling in Japan. But um, this fight is seems to be mostly a standstill. I don't know, like... Come on, let something happen. Eh, 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 eh. Almost there. Almost there. Yes! And kind of a... Well, you back suplex there. Like a... 
Uh, he got him in the ring out with a Saido suplex. Is there, are there cushions outside the ring? Oh, now he's just catching punches. Bonk. 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 Oh, and a knee strike there. And he's just punching him right on the forehead, and that was the round. So he knows a good bit of uh, ground fighting. The Mar Indian martial arts guy in the red gi. Now, Indian martial arts guy here being coached by... Uh, the protagonist from uh, Speed Racer and uh, Tiger Mask. <laughs> and some ninja dude with a sword on his back. Sumo guy pretty much with the same game plan here. Oh, what? oh, and he gets the ring out. Oh, yeah. Now the pit and the fights I have lined up here. Oh, and another ring out. Amazing. Although he also fell out. So wouldn't that be a half point instead? It's not a clean ring out. Uh, these fights I picked... Particularly because I don't think they've been covered yet by uh, by the YouTube channel Fight Commentary Breakdowns. And uh, I don't want to commentate anything that he already commentated on. So, uh, oh, th those were uppercuts and he strikes to the chin. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, this is kind of like a Harai Goshi. I don't know. I don't know my judo throws. Oh, but he got the reversal and he's going to ground and pound him. Oh, transitioning. Hopefully the side control. Oh, and he was hammer fisting him right from the back. Hey. Oh, and now sumo guy looking to rain down some punches. He's got a grip on the lapel there. Oh, and they stand him back up. I guess. Uh, oh, look at that. Oh, the mouse underneath his left eye. Oh, it's going to shut it up. He's not going to be able to see from his left eye. He's going to have a blind spot. But hey, all he has to do is just get close and push him out. Yorikiri, as they would say in uh, in sumo. Force out. Oh, was going to go for a really slow spin kick. And just caught him. By the way, that's, that's how you defend against uh, spin kicks. But he got careless there and uh, he got thrown out. Oh, that... Uh, that that left eye must be bothering him. Oh, and he pushes him out. That's pretty much what he has to do now. Oh, and he wins. He wins by ring out. Look at that. His left eye shut. His nose is bleeding, but he wins. Good on you, sumo guy. And now he's escorted by... Uh, are those shrine maidens? That's cool. And this guy in, uh, in uh, like this crazy stained glass shirt. Is he the organizer? Cool, and he wins a trophy. Awesome. Look at that. Look at that production package there. The graphic package. Cool. They're introducing the Caprera guy here, who most likely also knows some jits. Because this is Marcos uh, Lelo Aurelio, right? Oh, uh, ooh, there's a Caprera kick right there. Putting all of his weight into it. Bang! And his opponent. Oh! What is that? Crane? No, that's Mantis. He's just waving his arms around, but hey, look at this. Oh, he won that with ground and pound. Is he hitting him with Mantis Fist? That'd be really cool. There's a lot of uh, cool techniques with Mantis Fist. Like uh, fish hooking, eye gouging, hits to the throat. And he's a Japanese guy who got really into Kung Fu. Or, as they would say, Chugoku Bujitsu. He wants to prove the effectiveness of Kung Fu, which, you know, a lot of uh, old Kung Fu masters are kind of failing at it over in China. Yeah, th th this China boo. Shinsuke Seto versus Marcos Lelo Aurelio. Look at this. Whoa. They have a different kind of octagon here. Like a bagua. Oh, this is gonna get crazy. Oh, open stance. And the Kapara guy now doing the triangle thing. I don't know what it's called. I don't know the Kapara terms, sorry. But I know what they do. Whoa! He's putting a lot more into it. He did say he's gonna put more Kapara techniques into it. You do not backpedal. You circle away from the kicks. You need more lateral movement because if you only backpedal... He's gonna eventually catch you, especially once you're at the edge of the ring. That's how he got his opponents in MMA. That's how he got his knockouts. How's he looking? He's got the Mantis 
fist thing going. But is he actually going to use it? Oh! They trapped his lead hand. And then hit him square in the face with a good left. It's obvious that the Capoeira guy with the pro MMA record is more experienced in fighting. You can already tell the, the, the experience gap here. Oh, take down. Now gonna get him from the back and rain punches, right? Oh, oh, uppercuts right to the head. Oh, and that's it. That's it. Capoeira guy wins. He used a little bit of his capoeira. Look at that. He's good. He's very good. He's uh, he's knocked out people with uh, his capoeira. Like legit. Eso, eso. Whatever you say, Brazilian guy. This is uh, this is a very famous clip. Went viral when it first happened. Oh, look at that. Very wild. What? All right. He's going to pressure him. Gonna make him tentative. Gonna hit him with some good shots and make him backpedal. Whoop! Bang! There it is. And the crowd goes wild. Yeah, he's good. He's got legit capoeira, and he can use it in a real fight. You do not want to backpedal against kicks like that, because guess what? You're going to get cornered, and you're going to get hit square in the face. Bang! Oh, and it's over and out. Why do we have a Ninja Ryujin's entrance music here? <laughs> Ah, uh, why is this video so small? Oh, okay, this is uh, Muay Thai versus Sistema. The Sistema guy in uh, camo pants. Ah, Sistema, I gotta make a video about that fighting system one of these days. That's, uh, I don't know. I kind of scratched my head at Sistema. At first, when I first discovered it, it seemed really cool because it's this Russian military fighting system. But then I saw their training methods, I was like, Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. And Sistema is supposedly a very relaxed fighting style that makes a lot of use of uh, minute body movements like that. And you can throw them, you can hit them. So, hey, this Sistema guy is not bad. He actually did a Sistema technique there. Cool. And a uh, Muay Thai guy, does he know what to do on the ground? I haven't watched this fight before. That was supposed to be a ground and pound victory for Sistema guy. What happened there? Oh well. Muay Thai guy has another chance. The Muay Thai guy's name is uh, Kuntap Charoe Nchai. And uh, Sistema guy is Akira Sitlek. That's a weird name for a Japanese guy. Maybe he's not Japanese. Huh. His name is Akira, though. But yeah, we're back in the clinch, which is supposedly uh, the Muay Thai's strong suit. But hey, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Gotta ring him out. Uh, gotta push him out. Yay! Got a ring out there. Come on, Sistema guy. Pull out a gun. Whoa! Saw that teep coming from a mile away. Took him down. Now in top mount. Oh, full mount. Muay Thai guy trying to keep. Sistema guy's uh, posture down, but oh, wasn't given enough time to work. Come on, referee. What the hell are you doing? What? The faint there? Oh, was gonna time that leg kick with a with a right straight, but you can't keep taking those kicks. They're gonna get chopped down like a banana tree in Thailand. Oh, oh, oh! Saw that spinning back fist coming, or maybe it was luck. He was dropping levels for. A weak-ass single leg takedown. Now he's got him. Uh, front face lock. Oh. Uh, swim, swam in for the underhook. Muay Thai guy does know his clinch game. Uh, wh where do we go from here? Since there are no, uh, there are no fences, there are no ropes. You can't push the guy into a, into a hard surface. So the clinch game is uh, pretty uh, 
pretty dynamic in this kind of setting. So, yeah, I'll, I'll give him that. Gunryujima is onto something here. Oh, drop down for another single leg. Or double leg, I mean. But stuffed. I think Sistema guy is tired now. And, of course, the Muay Thai guy would have more stamina. It'd have more cardio. Seasoned Muay Thai guys are super tough and uh, really hard to break. And they can last for a very long time. Oh, it's just gonna go for push-outs. Oh, but it looks like Muay Thai guy is also huffing and puffing at this point. This should be it. This should have been victory for Sistema guy here. Whether you like it or not, whether you think uh, Sistema is actually a legit fighting style or bunk. Oh, and uh, the tape around his gloves were coming undone. So uh, who wins? Oh, the Mu Muay Thai guy won? Even after that uh, ground and pound devastation by Sistema guy? Oh well. I guess it's those ring outs. Those ring outs counted. But hey, good showing by Sistema Guy, I guess. We're in outer space now! Where the fights... Where the fights truly start. Dude... I hope that this promotion... Lives on for thousands of years until... Humankind finally achieves... Uh, faster than light travel? I don't know. Like... We're able to explore space. So that uh, this, this promotion is still there to stage fights between humans and aliens. That'd be cool. It all comes back down to Japan. Just like an anime. Is there an anime where uh, humans fight aliens in Mortal Kombat? There should be. If there's an anime series like that or a manga, please tell me. Drop it in the comments below. All right, here's our fight. Uh, Hideki Sekine, MMA veteran, versus uh, Mongolian wrestler Baru Han. Oh, Hideki Sekine coming in with that. What, from what anime is that? Is that Daimos or Voltas 5? He's a Bozanian. Oh, there you have it going on. Human versus aliens. That Mongolian guy is huge. Look at that. Whoa, shoot for a takedown. But uh, that's something that uh, Mongolians are very familiar with. For those who don't know, Mongolian wrestling, leg takedowns are allowed, uh, sleeve grabs are allowed, uh, and that's about it. And uh, that's why they they actually excel in judo and in sumo. And there are MMA fighters now who are Mongolian who are actually excelling, like uh, Jadamba Narantungalag in one championship. He's kneeing from this uh, this position. Uh, gotta be careful and need him in the balls. One of them is gonna get a ball shot. Alright, lapel grab by Sakine. Gonna try to throw him. It's gonna be really hard to throw though. This guy's big. What can the Mongolian guy do? Uh, he doesn't have sleeves to grab. That would have been uh, his strong suit with Mongolian wrestling. Maybe he should have uh, long sleeve geese for this competition. But I'm sure uh, this Mongolian guy is trained in Judo as well. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa! But in this case, he got Judo thrown instead. Hideki Sekine, he's no slouch. He's no slouch at all. Whoa, 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 uh oh, uh oh. And the, the crowd goes wild for what could have been an armbar attempt. Oh, good sweep. Ooh. He's gonna... Uh, now punches right to the head. Hammer fists. Soften them up. Soften them up some more. Soften them up. Oh, and that's it. Hideki Sekine, man. But then again... Yeah, and yes, they call him Shrek. <laughs> they call him Shrek. Cue the, uh, cue the Smash Mouth. And he did do Smash Mouth against this uh, Mongolian guy. That was a good fight. Look at that. Oh. Good takedown, uh, almost an uh, armbar attempt, and then, oh, look at that, is that a Tai Otoshi? I don't know, I don't know my, uh, my judo techniques. Oh, here we go, here's uh, Karate versus Dambe, uh, and then this guy uh, supposedly uh, is representing Kuramoto Ryu. It's a Nihon Bujutsu, 
versus uh, West African Dambe, the martial art of the house of people. This is going to be very interesting. So, uh, Japanese martial arts versus West African martial arts. I guess you can call it uh, kind of like uh, African Sambo. And oh, African boxers are nothing to be, to be scoffed at. I guess this guy has had boxing training. Look at his stance. Oh, he's like Muhammad Ali here. Oh, but he has to he has to mind his ring positioning. Ring out is a thing here. Oh, I guess that's Dambe talking. Whoa, ducked under that high kick. Whoa. Whoa, 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 almost got thrown. Whoa, 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 whoa. And got hip tossed right to the outside. Ow. Are there cushions out there? Oh, this guy is cocky as fuck. Yo, are you going to let that pass? Are you going to let that slide? No. No, knock this, knock this guy out. Whoa, he charged in. He's getting cocky, this Japanese guy. Well, he is taller than him. But hey. Whoa, okay. Both guys went ring out. But oh, oh, okay. So he's a he's an outboxer. But in this setting, an outboxer would be at a disadvantage. Oh. What kind of a name is that? Sivisei? What? I guess he uh, he kind of exoticized his name. Uh, well, I guess he wins. Pretty cocky, but hey, he wins. He wins. Two Japanese MMA veterans. Katsunori Kikuno versus Michihiro Omigawa. These guys have fought all over the world. They've both been in UFC. They've both been standouts. Well, Omigawa, he lost a lot more fights. But there was a time when he actually went on a winning streak. I think it was in Dream. Yeah. Meanwhile, Katsunori Kikuno is well known as one of the purest karate stylists in MMA. Well, he's, uh, well, there's the Otomachido's a lot about the uh, elusive footwork and such. Katsunori Kikuno was all about aggressive karate, and he was known for his Sankaku Geri, his triangle kick, which is this, uh, this 45 degree kick with the toe to the belly unorthodox technique you can say in mma because you don't see it very much but toe kicks to soft tissue area not fun to take it hurts it's like you're getting a spike right into your gut with someone like katsunori kikuna he would have very well conditioned feet with a really hard big big toe that is meant to pierce through like abdominal muscles it doesn't matter how many sit-ups you do in a day he is going to go through it and right into your internal organs all right here we go kikuno versus omigawa whoa so this is a this is a rematch and you can tell the difference in styles ichiro omigawa with the boxing stance oh like a peekaboo stance jesus with the head and body movement Loading up on his punches. Meanwhile, Katsunori Kikuno, karate stylist. Oh, was going to go for a judo throw there. But uh, Katsunori Kikuno, well scouted, blocked that tr throw. Oh, and he, accidentally, inadvertently, uh, Omigawa goes out the ring. Look at that. He's even got his uh, his palms turned in with the, with the punches. Oh, and measuring there. Oh! Oh! Oh, knockout! Oh no! Oh, and it's over and out for Omigawa. Katsunori Kikuno comes out with a win! Via knockout! Iken Hisats! One! Hit! Kill! Like a true karateka! Cool! Oh, there we go! There's the counter right at left! I mean... Whoop! Bang! Just timed it perfectly with Omigawa coming in. And looking at the ref, hey, do I have to hit him some more? No, he's already knocked out! Dude, that was a good fight!
Here's a, I, I, I think this one, this is from the first fight. Right, here's the, some of the footage. Well, it's in Jeff form. It's from the first fight. Look at that. Oh, Sutemiwaza by Omigawa. The sacrifice throw. And there it is. There's the Sankakugeri, the triangle kick by Kikuno. But man, look at that throw. I guess that's why they wanted a rematch. They had a, an incredible performance in their first fight, both of them. Look at that. And here's uh, highlights of Katsunori Kikuno throughout Ganryujima. Alright, so here he is against a... against a Thai guy. Oh! One shot knockout again! He can... He's, he can... He sucks! Man, here's, here's the second one. Who's he fighting? Who's this guy? Oh, he's a really tall, lanky guy. Uh, Oh, was looking for the kick. Ring out with a punch. That is cool. Katsunori Kikuno is no slouch. He is a monster in this kind of format. He was pretty good in MMA too, but man, in this type of format, Okinawa Karate would excel. Uh, measuring him, measuring this uh, lanky guy with a bowl haircut. Oh, ducked under that punch and another ring out. Still going to be a standout in Ganryujima. Oh, evaded that uh, spinning back kick. Oh, switching stances. Looking for an opportunity here. Oh, kind of ate that right. Uh, looking for one of those uh, those triangle kicks. Oh, saw that head kick coming. Caught it. Oh, ducked under that punch. Into the clinch. Take down. Now he can work. Using his MMA experience. Uh, it's just hitting him. Lanky guy uh, isn't really doing much. Oh. Oh, he does have kind of a guard, but oh, that one big shot right to the kisser. Kuno. Oh, saw that punch coming from a mile away. He's looking to counter. Sen no sen. Or even sen sen no sen. Like that. Delayed counters and simultaneous counters. That's what it is. Oh! Oh, that was Sen Sen no Sen. Simultaneous counter. If you're into karate, and you want to learn how to apply karate in actual fight situation, watch Katsunori Kikuno fights. The purest possible application of karate in MMA. And I guess that this was the first fight. I thought I could never find footage of the first fight between him and Omigawa, but here it is. Oh, body triangle. Jiro Omigawa was no slouch. Yeah, as you can see, there's the Stemiwaza. The sacrifice throw. Oh, caught him right in the liver. With the with a toe kick. Oh, that that's gonna hurt. Like, liver shots hurt super bad. It's like getting kicked in the balls, but coupled that with wanting to vomit, wanting to take a shit in your pants, and not being able to breathe. And that was Ganryujima. How cool was that? That was amazing! The last Ganryujima event was last year. They don't have one this year, because, well, you know, COVID. But yeah, they started back in February of 2015, and looks like they were pretty successful, at least domestically in Japan. Anyway, that's all for now with Ganryujima. Until next time, stay tour.